Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin. Wa bihi nasta'in ala umuri dunya waddin. Was salatu wassalamu ala rasulillah ajma'in. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah syukur kepada Allah Subhanahu dapat kita bertemu pada petang ini. Uh, okay, baik. <coughs> kita masih lagi membicarakan uh, tentang uh, spiritual element yang ada pada diri manusia kita dah pergi ke slide ini iaitu empat elemen there are four elements spiritual on spiritual which is mind al-akal spiritual al-ruh emotion al-qal al-nafs self so this already talk about this now we move to another slide ok uh, row eh? in order to understand the row um, we try to look at the source of uh, knowledge from al-hadis eh, from the speed of prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam whilst uh, he uh, we being asked uh, from someone to know Uh, what is the roh? Eh? What is roh? Apa itu roh? And actually, uh, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did not answer, did not respond uh, immediately, uh, but he uh, waiting for uh, revelation uh, and wahyu uh, from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Revelation from God, and that's uh, what uh, then apa ni? Uh, the revelation has been complete and uh, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam says uh, the soul is one of the affair of my lord and mankind and people have not been given of knowledge except a little a little bit of the knowledge uh, has been shared by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that's why we are try to understand What is a soul? Eh? What is a roh? Okay, this is a limitation for us because uh, roh is something unseen. We cannot see, we cannot perceive a roh spiritual by our senses. We cannot see, we cannot uh, hear, we cannot touch, we cannot uh, taste. Okay, so this is limitation of uh, roh. Uh, whatever. Uh, In order to understand eh, what is a roh, okay, um, we can divide uh, the concept of roh into two uh, definition, which is a uh, conceptual and operational. Yeah. The word a roh eh, uh, actually uh, originated from Arabic word arreh, eh, yaitu apa, uh, angin, uh, wind, uh, wind, angin. Air stream or breeze, eh? angin lah. Ini pada perkataan reh, reh, reh ni uh, angin yang bertiup, angin yang bertiup. So when uh, we try to understand roh, uh, the the character of roh itself is uh, as like uh, wind, eh? seperti angin. Eh, for example, when we are blowing, we get the tube and tube. We we can feel there is the existence of uh, wind, eh, wine, eh, and then uh, we cannot see, but we cannot see the 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 character, the apa, the physical of uh, apa ni tadi, A breeze, eh, air stream. Uh, jadi <coughs> the similarities between a ray, eh, angin, eh, uh, wind and the roh, eh, we cannot see but we can feel it. Uh, kita boleh merasainya, tapi kita tak boleh uh, melihat. Uh, eh. Tapi uh, uh, between ray, ray, wind. And roh ni bukanlah similarities tu in term of physical. Eh, sebab uh, 
uh, angin kita masih lagi boleh rasa dia kan boleh merasa we can feel eh angin tapi roh kita tak boleh nampak dan tak boleh rasa dia tapi nak ceritakan dia punya uh, ada little bit of similarities uh, dia punya persamaan tu eh, sedikit persamaan yang mungkin uh, mudah lah kalau kita nak faham lah macam mana kan Okay, in term of operational definition, uh, arroh it is a spirit, eh, soul, brave of life, ataupun nyawa. Eh, dalam bahasa Melayu kita panggil dia nyawa lah. Arroh, uh, maknanya nyawa kita, uh, life, eh, brave of life, nyawa yang memberikan kehidupan, eh, yang memberi kita hidup. Uh, eh. So, uh, spirit ini satu tadi kita lihat dari sudut so conceptual dia. Uh, iaitu seperti angin eh. yang kedua itu spirit ataupun roh yang bertindak memberi kehidupan eh. brief of life eh. giving life to the uh, something eh. creatures, makhluk eh. jadi um, apabila kita lihat tentang roh eh, um, uh, bolehlah kita nampak dia punya apa dia punya uh, persamaan itu dari sudut karakter dia ataupun ciri dia lah ciri dia tapi bukan it's not a physical character eh but it is karakter uh, tu maknanya dia punya ciri-ciri dia uh, tapi dia bukan bentuk physical eh, it's not uh, physical character uh, but then uh, we try to understand uh, a roh Uh, the function of roh eh, giving the brief eh, bring the, the brief of life memberi kehidupan maknanya kalau tak ternyawa matilah kan ok then uh, in Al-Quran roh is referring to several um, definition ataupun uh, is referring to uh, some uh, meaning eh, for example uh, uh, metaphysic entities eh. in Al-Quran when we read Al-Quran Uh, Al-Quran says about roh is not only roh as we understand as a breath of life soul nyawa tadi but it's also uh, give a uh, meaning at, uh, refer to the purpose angel eh, pada malaikat maknanya roh itu juga merujuk kepada malaikat eh, kenapa? kenapa malaikat we cannot see Eh, we cannot see the angel eh, Sama lah Roh pun tak nampak juga Angel eh. okay. Kemudian uh, juga uh, Dimaksudkan dengan Roh eh, Roh also referring to the uh, Al-Quran eh, Revelation eh, Ataupun uh, Wahyu eh, Wahyu tu eh, Wahyu Ataupun Al-Quran eh, uh, Juga dinamakan sebagai Roh eh, Because Uh, the function of Al-Quran Wahyu Revelation as a guidance eh, as a guidance to human being eh, to mankind kepada manusia semua so therefore we need to read, we need to contemplate, we need to study Al-Quran because it give us um, a life uh, a strength of life Uh, kekuatan hidup kekuatan lah eh, our strength kekuatan kita tu ok so uh, dia punya apa uh, function tu eh, dia punya fungsi role of Al-Quran tu giving life to the human human uh, human human being eh, ataupun mankind kan ok kemudian uh, Ruh is also referring to divine inspiration Eh, divine inspiration ni maknanya apa? Divine ni ketuhanan, inspirasi ketuhanan. Eh? Uh, giving the ideas, eh? giving uh, uh, positive thinking, eh? giving the uh, apa? inspiration eh? ataupun dalam bahasa Melayu ilham. Eh? Maknanya bagi idea, bagi ilham. Eh? Ilham ataupun uh, idea lah, idea yang baik. Uh, divine inspiration. Okay? And uh, Ruh is also referring to the human inner self, eh, our self, uh, diri kita, self, uh, 
me eh saya eh maknanya um, roh kita 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 menunjuk saya saya tu siapa kita punya nilah diri kita eh 